In this second video about ethos, pathos, and logos, I just want to really make, I want to make a quick point that not every image, not every um, brochure or article or website or advertising material, billboard, commercial, is, is going to have ethos, pathos, and, and logos at a high level. Sometimes it'll be very low, and sometimes one of these three, or maybe more than one, will be absent or just not emphasized because it's such a straightforward thing that you're dealing with. For example, I have a, a, a bottled water here and it has a label. And uh, I don't think there's any sort of design to the label that's meant to make you feel a certain way. Now, it, it is all blue. And at one point you might look into the psychology of colors and you might notice that blue makes you feel calm and all this. I suppose, but at that point, that's so far buried in us that we don't necessarily experience that in a very clear way often enough to be able to point with certainty that this blue is making me feel that way. You see what I'm saying? Um, in, in, in the process of your everyday life, we don't, we don't necessarily recognize our response to colors at that level. So I, I'm not going to say that their decision to make this blue, you know, is a high level of pathos because it's trying to make me feel calm and peaceful. Um, because then, you know, I might look at another beverage that uh, is also liquid. I mean, what, what is it with liquid that makes us want to be calm and peaceful anyway, right? I mean, why why do you want to link up that feeling with bottled water when you can maybe have something much more exciting that might actually cause you to buy it, right? Like a red label. Think of Coke and its color. See what I'm saying? So I, I'm not going to really go for it that this was meant to, to uh, or that, you know, the ridges in our, uh, and the bottle was meant to, uh, you know, make us feel secure. I just don't think it has a lot of pathos at all. All right. There's very much, there's logos on there. It tells you that it's BPA free and where it was printed and all that. And I have no desire to challenge that. I mean, why would they lie that this, that you can get a, a five cents deposit on, you know, this bottle, plastic bottle, if you deposit it in these five states, you know, it just seems that that's just the ethos. I mean, the logo seems to be correct. Why would it be incorrect, right? Now, the ethos is the credibility of the source, and I really don't know much at all about you know Pure Aqua or the the uh, you know the, the company that owns it. But but they're but they're not telling you to to buy this bottled water as opposed to any other one out there because you can trust the company. They're not even trying to make that claim. They're not identifying themselves in any strong way. They're not trying to like get you. That's that's completely different when you do branding, right? If you have a branded product, you want to establish the ethos of your brand because at that point, people are just going to trust. If it's an Apple computer, it's good, you know. If it's if it's Aqua, you know, if it's a you know Aquafina or whatever, um, you know, just some of these brand water bottles, you know, the brand is the ethos, right? So. There is no brand here. This is a generic water. I, th I think this this would not be a good item to choose when if you're trying to use it as an example of ethos, pathos, logos in, in an assignment or something. What about the movie? Let's. This is a little more complicated. This is another movie called Bad Education. It's about it's about a true event of cheating that happened in a high school, and uh, you know the picture has uh, two people there, and they're sort of standing sitting at a stadium. The back is just more of the same, okay? Um, you know, using this cover image, you know, for an assignment like analyzing ethos, pathos, and logos and some text. Um, again, text could be anything that is in a fixed format, conveying a, a message, uh, copyable, accessible to a mass public, you know, that... This is a sort of text, right? And uh, I, I just, I just think it's just trying to tell you what the name of the movie, and I, I really don't think I can make much at all about two people sitting at a stadium. I mean, I don't, know, I don't think that's designed to make me feel one way or the other. You know, as far as the title "Bad Education," well, that 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 is, give, it's giving you content about what it's going to be about. I mean, this is a story about an education a school district gone bad because they were so concerned about the standardized scores they were willing to cheat you know on the administrative level you know uh as far as like you know maybe some sort of race or profiling going on 
I, I don't know. I mean, maybe those people really were of that race. At that point, the movie is just being expressing fidelity to the historical event, right? Uh, as far as the cover goes, right, this, this would be a poor piece to use to analyze Ethos Passos logos because it's just, they're all low there. However, if, if when you're watching the movie, you realize that every time they are showing the administration that's that's scheming, you know, it's always dark, it's the music changes, you know, the angles are harsher, the, 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 the angles of film concerning the face and that. Well, then, you know, you could talk about pathos, right? Because the, the, the actual viewing experience is designed to promote, provoke evocations in you. Uh, senses and intuitions and emotions and feelings about the darkness of the situation or the you know the wrongness of this person the 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 evil heart perhaps or things like that right so the music and the way the lighting happens and all of that in the film can maybe be a very interesting topic for analysis concerning ethos pathos logos logos concerning the content of the film maybe they left out some very key elements you know Maybe to make the movie more exciting, they added they added more things that weren't really there, and 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 that's why they say inspired by a true story or based on a true story, right? So there might be some issue with logos as well. So the the movie experience itself would be much better to use analyzing ethos, pathos, or logos rather than say this image. You know, the image is low on all of those. So think about. Be careful about your choice when you're thinking about a commercial or, or, or you know, an image to analyze because um, the, the ones that are actually employing ethos, logos, and pathos at a high level are going to be so much easier easier to write about. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.